mind control clockwork. He loves that four staff. I also feel like Universe generally gets four staff first. Oh, Resolution with the perfect rune. He's gonna break the smoke and just kill off Soxa. They couldn't have hoped for a better start to this EGM. Getting in with his Glimmer Cape. Good hook shot as well from Bambo. Call down. We'll connect on two here. Pycat thinking about letting the Wick Room rip on the back, but decides against it. Funnick taking his bill here. Silent will be continuing with the Rocket Barrage. Now Resolution comes in for a toss. Avalanche is ready, but a nice timing on the Glimmer Cape again from EGM will keep him alive. Solution needs a little bit more damage, won't be getting it off just here. Can he get the toss? No, he will die to a single raise. And now Nikua with the reincarnation comes back in. This is a great fight for 4 CLs. It looks, or is it? They're actually fighting next to the Serpent Wards. And Silent is manning up. Nikua looking for the Somebody blink. is winning this fight. Well, he's got the stun, but he can't get it on Silent. They need a little bit more initiation. Blink coming down on cooldown in five, four seconds. He might just blink into full rocket barrage, so he's got to be extremely careful. Silent moving very fast with the phase boots. And that uh, Helm of Dominator really the, light, the saving grace. He's still looking for the blinking. Can we get a quick hex? That's the question. Weapon Y. Whoop. No. He actually gets a kill before the sun comes out. He will appreciate the trade. Meanwhile, Silent TP's back out. This is all up to Bambo getting a good hook shot. He can try to engage there. Actually, Beam Strip stolen by EGM. He's going to use it in the Glimmer, but of course, the gem that you mentioned was already in effect here. Now in comes Silent. Good call down here. Pycat will be getting actually canceling the Requiem. He's going for raises instead. It's going to cost him his life here in a moment. Will be dying. The blink away from Tusk is successful. Off to the side. Nikwa wants to go for a blink. Can't get it off. And Weapon Y will be falling to a good. From the Reincarnation Flamer. 3, but he doesn't get it off, and that's a huge win. The wards unfortunately got mopped up by Roshan during the meantime, but it's low enough where they kind of just could walk, walk, walk in and becomes a little bit more effective, allowing him to creep forward much more and get a little bit more space for himself. But uh, so gotta care for exactly this. Funnick with the gem finds him out. Good eye shards. Winter's Curse is available. Very well placed here from Soxa. They were not ready for that. No Hex is going to come out, but Fiend Script from the side. No fear from far away there's actually no counterplay available for four clovers and they're gonna lose both as resolution comes in from the side with avatar nice rocket though ends up being a two for two trade-off with the snipe from bamboo no aegis available for wow oh. all right that is actually almost getting him killed he will survive though shots should be dying as a result but good hook shot in from Bambo, he's actually isolating no fear as well. This is the target you want to catch. No beam strip available. Resolution trying to kill them up together with Silent. Will manage to get the the clockwork down as the gyrocopter buyback from the wyvern. Coming back in, and there is the record for Pike. And there's no counter now. Laying down the law onto Silent and Resolution should be mopping up the entire Empire team. With no Aegis, they had no business going for that play. Just blindly going for that play, I don't think is, is the choice it should be Well, looks like Pop 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 It's gonna be a All right, good he's dead. Well, but the Shadow Fiend on the back line. Can he get off his ultimate, though? No, he's going to the right clicks for now. No fear. And the Snowball challenge the ultimate. It's gonna be good. It hits everybody right now. Shadow Fiend going for the raises, but his teammates are dying too fast. The BKB's over, and the Shackle isolating the Shadow Fiend. They do get the kill. The ending Requiem being able to pick up somebody. Here comes Nikwa for his second life. His BKB going on silent. And can he get the kill? The evasion pretty good for now. But Nikwa, mano a mano, gets the kill on Tiny. Can Tiny blink back out? Probably. And looks like they're going to just let the Tiny go. In fact, Tiny thinking about going back in. Good split push, though, here from the Shadow Shaman. Level 16. Oh, they want to catch him. Yeah, Rubik. Just as good a play out of 4CL here. They're baiting it, and he will get caught. Very nicely done here, EGM. What? No, actually... force that. Where was the lift, EGM? Do they have enough mobility? They do force that forward. There's a lift back, and it looks like Bambo's gonna get the kill. Meanwhile, on the top side of the map here, they're going on the Rave King. He will use his reincarnation shards in a very nice spot. Looking for the Requiem on the high ground. Nico gets gripped. They need to rescue their Rave King. He's taking way too much damage. Okay, there's a heal. There's a Requiem flying out, but it looks like Nico will still die. Popping the BKB, but... We'll go down as a result. They did get the Shaman pick, but it looks like they might lose a little bit more fun. It coming in, oh, looking nice for the punch. Play. Okay, cancels the TP, and suddenly Pycat really isolated from the rest of his team. Great nightmare, but just delaying it. And here comes EGM and Bambo. Four kills in the favor of 4CL. All right, not so nice play, because nobody had the damage, and they were actually all low. But here comes Silent, call down onto three Black Cannon as well. Get out of here, Four Clovers. Great cock, gonna though. escape with two. The cogs from Bambo keeping the rest of the team safe and EGM keeps the gem. Spawn, but he has buyback. I really don't think they should be making this play. They're fighting into Aegis and Cheese in the enemy base. I think there's even a glyph there is for four clovers. This isn't gonna end well. I think they're gonna go for it anyway. Soxa 
Oh, he's gonna die immediately. No buyback. At least the five on four situation forced here. That was Mass Serpent Wars actually just getting to lay into Neek, but Silent, they've isolated Bamboo. How the hell is this working out for them so well? Resolution. Now Resolution on the back foot. Pycat using the defensive Requiem here, just trying to scare them off and destroy these Plague Wards. Neek will die a second time. Silence is really chasing for him. Meanwhile, there's a hex on weapon Y. They're gonna beat the hell out of that Shadow Fiend. HS is gonna pop right now, but everybody is dead. Buyback coming out here from Neek. Well, Shadow Fiend will respawn, but where's the Tiny damage? No, Tiny doesn't even care about it because Silent is on the front line. Great Nightmare here on the Red King. And here comes Resolution back. Beat the devil out of that Shadow Fiend. And they're just looking for more. Nico and a lot of... Well, I don't know about that one. Pycat buys back and they're chasing people out. Four step. Oh. He will survive. Water. Great call down. Okay, the, the stun will hit on Silent. But again, he's just so tanky and so fast. They don't get the kill. It's better than nothing though, I guess. Better than Black Cannon. Oh, here okay. comes Resolution going in on Nikwa. He will be killing him off with the cleave of EGM, EGM. All right, bye bye, Rubik. And the it's wards have been die. committed. On the back line here, Clockwork trying to do what he can for the team, but he just dies to the Black Cannon. This Rex will go down. No buyback here on the Rave King. Great Winter's Curse, but they just don't have the damage output. Pycat's going to die as well, and that's also a dieback. Because of the previous buyback, can Empire just seal the deal right now? They're looking for it. Saxa will go in Viz, and the GG just straight up fall. All the cores don't have buyback, and Empire. Well, I just say this was a close game. They do get two key team fights in a row, and Empire is really, really showing that they could take a, a late game fight against 4 CI. Yeah, this is one of the best games of the tournament so far. I think it might have been the longest game, too, of 47 minutes, which is a weird thing to say when you're so far, but the tournament so far just had a lot of pretty one sided matchups, but. This goes to show these teams are pretty evenly matched. Yep. Uh, Empire do come out a bit stronger here. I think the 